didn't score badly on day one. He scored a lot. I think he was a leading scorer day one as well, but just missed a lot of easy shots. And he got very efficient day two. Wow. So Jonathan Dubis, that time he gets led to the, to the cup. And Segala will get the French scoring started. A little too handsy there from Segala. This game officiated by Donald Quinn to Atelier Dalt. Jill trying to get the defense off of him. Dubis. Oh, he goes up over Vieira 8. Doesn't come away with anything. Wes's hook provides the same result. Fauché up to Vieira 8. Vieira 8 looking like he's been in an alley fight. These two's been battling out here. Drew Rambo with the two-point shot. We didn't really expect that one today. Yeah, I was confused. I was like, did I really just see that? Oh. oh man. There's Wes. He'll clean up the mess. Poche with a round ball cutting. And the King couldn't keep up. West, no, well off target, Vierade. He'll pull it down to Rambo, Rambo, no, that, won't, won't get the score. Here we go, Segela, that pass is broken up uh, by a foot, wasn't it, boss? Yes, it was. So it's a, a reset of the shot clock and an early lead here for France. 4-1 France to start. Segela to Fauché. Fauché back to Segela. Sharon is Karen. A lot of love on this French team. Oh, Gilles Martin. Gilles Martin, go away. Look at the defense by Villare staying with the quicker Gilles Martin and blocking his shot. Oh, Ooh. that was a gangster slap. Dubas looking like Debo. <laughs> oh, he stepped on the line. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> so, look at Dubas treating Villare like Craig. You keep coming you know, out with the Friday references. I like it, it, though. But you saw that. Yes, I did, obviously. I would say there's probably a low percentage of people over here that get that one. Oh, that's a funny movie. for everybody. If you haven't watched that, go watch it. Oh, you need to. Don't do it now, though. Watch this. Yes. Good advice. Yes. We try. Life advice also. So jokes, sports, life advice. You know what this is called? It's infotainment. Oh, uh -huh. OK. I you see. Did? All right. Uh, back to it. The Juice Man over to Fastin Martin. He got to like this matchup with Rambo in front of him. There's Jill. Jill getting tricky on him. Moltini. He gets whistled for the foul. Oh yeah, he got he got four on there. I thought he got ball, but it was four on for sure. Yeah, I, I wanted to get a closer look at that too, Rambo. Did you see that? I told you. Whenever they run a pick and ball, a pick and roll with Jules Rambo, something good comes out of it. That is disciplined play right there from the French. King West. No. So Switzerland struggling a little bit to get this offense going. Yeah, but with them, you also know that if Lemon gets going, and that's an if, but they can get back in this game in a hurry. Uh, Segela, he will give it up to Fauché. Fauché from the corner. I think not. The King throws that out of there, and Dubas can't do nothing with it. Look at King West, 
punching that ball like Apollo Creed. <laughs> Percy doesn't like Wilson. He throws him out. He's the ruler of all he surveys. Six to two. Lemon with the quick trigger. That one well off target. Virare. Seguela. Back to Virare. He's going to think better than attacking Dubas inside. He says, I like it outside. Didn't like him back. Shot too short, so France will maintain a four point lead. And Gilles had too much sizzle on that entry pass. So a break in the action. Our first TV timeout in our last play in game. And I got to yeah. I got to give a special shout out right now because my mom and my sister Danielle and Carol they're watching right now from back home in, in Austin. Hey. So hi Pony Mac, hi mommy, love you. See, I can do that. But now it's back to back to work. Don't get mad at me, mama. I'll call y'all later. I'm working. So it was King West. He saves it. Dubis. Look at Rambo all up in his personal business. And they're going to get the whistle. Yeah, that's a bit too much forearm there. Look at this, though. Three players are tangled up. All of them uh, feel like they did nothing wrong. I think all of them provided some of that contact for sure. Not a whole lot of fouls in this game. No, nah, it's a different pace than last game for sure. But that would be a fifth on France. Or Le Bleu, as uh, Bob Nunn likes to hear. Fasted Martin. King West, no. Rambeau was trying to keep Montagny off of the rebound. Montagny tried to swipe past him, and I think Montagny is the one who's whistled. That's the fourth on the Swiss. Pierre Oh, nice move. Go away. Dubas' defense has been disrespectful. I like that. Segela. He misses and Dubas throws it away. Martin trying to pester Fauché. Segela. He's still shooting. Ooh la la. King West surveying. Oh, Martin falling away. What touch. That was softer than your linens. Four point difference. Take another look at the connection between longtime teammates. Trim the score in half. Rambo is bullying people down there. Dubas is going to get a chance at some payback here. Six foot nine, Dubas. He draws the foul on Rambo. So Dubas will shoot just one. Is knocked in. Two possession game. What's your feel of this one so far? France with a four point lead. I, I think France has gotten into their offense better than the Swiss have. I just, I don't like to count out the Swiss team with Lemon on the squad though. He needs no breathing room to get his shot up. So I don't think that four point deficit is all that difficult for them to uh, get back from, but who knows? 
Again, France has just been better, you know, at finding consistent offense right now. Here's a stat that might shock you. France is only averaging about 16 and a half points per game. Well, you know what helps? Jules Rambo shooting two-point shots, which well, we haven't seen a lot of. Yeah, Rambo, he brought his weapon. Dubis is checking his face. Oh, look at that. Dubis has got a, got a big knot on his chin. I think he collided with Rambo. And I think the referees are going to look at whether this was uh, intentional contact. Dubas' his cheek, though, looking mighty swole right now. Yeah, for sure, man. Said he was looking like Debo. That's in more than one spot. That's like Debo after the last scene in Friday. <laughs> Craig knocked him out. But he's down. He was down for a minute, but he's not out. You got to put some ice on that. Some frozen meat. Something. Some peas. <laughs> frozen peas. 11-5. Hey, you notice with that late lunch, we haven't haven't been talking about food all that much. And then we should you, eat more. And here you bring it up. Nah, I was just I just now thought of that. Plus, do you think about anything besides eating? You know all that eating is how you grew to be seven feet tall. Well, yeah. I don't mind that though. Only time I uh, regret being this tall is when I have to get on an airplane. Yeah. <laughs> or buy clothes. <laughs> when you can find them. Mm -hmm. Oh, double foul. Okay, double foul is going to be uh, the deci decision. And that's not going to change that throbbing pain underneath Dubas' eye. It is not. But official talk is going to give him a, an explanation, which I think is the right, right call here. It's a bang-bang play in Rambo. Being a good sport, he says, tells Dubas his bad. So, no harm, no foul. Well, there was a little harm, but. Mm -hmm. No harm, two fouls. That's what you're saying, huh? Oh, to knee, FaceTime from King West. Look at Molten knee elevating in the paint. Difficult shot over Viedare. Yes, the call, and the calling card for this Swiss team has been the never quit attitude. Yes. You know, they've won a lot of games that haven't been the prettiest, but they they have been impressive with their, their fight. Oh, so Gala took it to the circus. Finishes with the reverse. Oh, Mardon. Rambo did call for the foul off the miss. That's the eighth on France. A couple of free throws will be the result. And while France had the lead, you know when you're getting that penalty. Yeah, that penalty is dangerous. And again, uh, I haven't seen too much out of Marco Lemon. The French have had him locked up. No lemonade just yet, but let's see if uh, the Swiss can get something out of him. They need any source of offense right now to climb back into this game. Not out of reach. So we take a peek into our 3,000 seat venue. All types of flags waving. See a Swiss flag and, of course, a French flag. Seen some Mongolian flags, Serbian flags, of course the Austrian flag. King West as the Swiss down by three. Via Rare, no way. Lemon, they're chasing them off the two point line. Dubas. Great pick and roll there. Lemon with the patience. Good pass, Dubas, good score. Also, Gala left all alone. That's his favorite shot. The most consistent two-point shot straight on top of the key. So Gala erased that from his memory. Nice connection there from Lemon and Dubas. 
Yeah, well played. They need some more of that. I feel like they can run some more pick and rolls, don't you? Yeah, well, it's been working. Oh, Gilles from Geneva. That was wetter than a fountain out there. Ooh, yes. You know that, you know that. Yes, I do. I've been there. Villarare, not a, doesn't have his touch, Fauché. And the French can get any two-point shot to go down. They're all open shots, too. Oh, Dubas is just getting beat up in this game. And I think he took a shot uh, you know where. Well, I've seen that look Yes. He, he's going to need a moment or two. You know what helps? Breathe, breathe. Deep breaths. I heard, I heard singing helps. Singing helps? Which is the worst advice. Yeah, you got to watch that region. He's, uh, he's got to protect his future. It might have been the diaphragm, though. Oh, really? Yeah, because look, he's holding his rib. Oh, okay. Well, he would just uh, strike that from the record, everything I just said. It's a 13-12 game. Lemon. Mark Dong. He's passing with flying colors. Look at this, Gil Martin driving that yellow car right now. Lemon flavored. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Fires Rosendahl's back. He's back. Oh, Segala. He's gone. He just treated the king like a subject. King West going to the jump hook. Dubis, he's denied. Dubis trying to clear some space. He puts it back up. No. Oh, it's getting, it is getting tense. Yeah, the physicality in this, level, in this game is so high right now. Clean, though, it feels like it. Not a lot of uh, smacking fouls to go around. Both teams are uh, trying to body up with people. Yeah, they're letting them, I, I don't mind it. They're letting them play down there, but uh, official talk just gives both teams a warning to settle down a, a bit because, you know, we don't want tempers to overflow or boil over. Fast and Martin. Fast and Martin. Man, that man gonna get a speeding ticket. Fierare, he has not had the touch. Oh, whoa! Jill is down. Both players are just r racing for that ball. You got two dudes going full speed. And any contact can send one player tumbling. Especially when that player is like 5'5". Five, five. But look at these two. But credit Gilles Gil for the hustle. And oh. he's laying it all on the line, trying to get to that loose ball. Look at Gilles. He's up. Just before that, though, we saw an interesting action. Gilles was guarding Villare down low on the block. And he called West back and said, switch up. He switched with him and guarded Jules Rambeau. But they did that so quick that the French couldn't take advantage of it. Great awareness by Gilles Martin. Great awareness by you to see that. I didn't see it. King West gets the tip. <laughs> the activity of Moutigny. Got an out-of-bounds challenge here. So, Boz, let's see if we can if we can look at what they're looking at. Mm -hmm. so we're getting to crunch time in this game. Remember, this was a game that France was dominating. Yeah. Uh, so it's a fog back from behind. 
Yeah. But, all right. They're out of the out of bounds challenge. We're still the players are on the court, but there's no been no decision made yet. I don't know, Boz. What do you think? Whose hand is that? That is so tough to see. And again, the footage has to be 100% clear for them to overturn the call. That's right. That is absolute right. Has to be 100% clear. It, it, not 95, not 96. 100%. Otherwise, the, the footage will be deemed unclear. And the call on the floor will stand. And that would be France Ball. We don't know yet. Tetsilia Tolt will take as much time as necessary to get the best look possible. Yeah, this is going to be interesting because, again, good that the referees are really focusing on this, right? It will be a lull in the game where teams can both reset their conditioning as well as reset their mental focus, right? And that could go either way. So you can lose that focus or you can gain more focus. Very interesting to see what's going to happen. We see some players laughing. We see some players getting together, talking to the referees. It's, 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 always, um, it's always interesting to see who comes out of this with the upper hand. And that might decide this game, because think about it. We got one minute and 13 seconds on the clock. Well, there we go. Uh, the footage was unclear because it was not 100% uh, clear where, who that ball went out on. So, yeah, referees couldn't determine based on the footage. Good call, then, because you never want to take the wrong decision here. You just want to be absolutely sure. That means we'll see France with the ball here. With looking at a one point deficit. Moshe. Who wants it more? Segala got it up to beat the horn. Now Segala's going to get a good look right here. And they've had their opportunities. Poche got to be careful. He was trying to sell one. Rambo. I think, I think the only French player to knock down a two-point shot so far has been Jules Rambo. Oh, that's oh. a goal pin. Ooh. Why? why did, I, I don't understand why Montagny would touch that ball. Me neither. But it was going in anyways, and maybe he wanted to send a message. Who knows? Yeah, but you don't send a message and, and tie the game with 49 seconds to well, go. Well, it was going in anyways. Oh, okay. Well, you It was above it. the rim. It looked like it was going in. Ah, man, I don't know. Okay. Hey, look, that's uh, – that's so the only French player, I think, that has hit a two-point shot so far in the game, he hit two so far, has been Jules Rambeau, who's not the guy to be hitting shots, to be honest with you. I mean, I know we could shoot. But he's not that dude when it comes to a lot of consistent outside shooting. It is a very odd game, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. The we have not seen too many shots from Alex Villalare, Seguela, and Fauché have been ice cold from outside the two-point arc. And it's, this has been a, uh, a weird show to watch. Yeah, and it's the ninth foul in France, but now Dubas missing free throws. He's trying to get another one, saying they uh, they stepped in early, but referees won't give it to him. They got to have it. If they want to take the lead. They came all the way back against France, and now they step ahead as the Swiss fans are standing up in this crowd. Segala will even things up with a one-handed punch. Lemon gets it down. To King West. No, he'll get it back. King, he misses. Dubas! Whoa, he misses. Back to back to back misses as we're under 20 seconds to play. 16 apiece between France and Switzerland. Segala is going to get a good look. He is fouled on the elbow. And that's no. going to be two free throws. Two free throws. If he gets the dunk first. And after that, he just kind of goes on an adventure, has to pull up at some point. I'll look at that dunk again. Yeah, nice. Easy bucket. Nice dunk. And wow, this game has changed so much even in the last 60 seconds. 
Look at the fight here by King West. Got his own rebound, and then Dubas. I don't think I've seen a dude hit the ground or, or somebody else in a game more than Jonathan Dubas this game is going at it. But that swipe is just not smart. It's a clear foul. Yes, just give him a one-point shot. Yeah, it's a clear foul. Right all on the elbow. Yeah, just give him that one-point shot. Now he, now he has two free throws to go up two, and you might be forced into taking an, a two-point shot. Otherwise, you would have been able to tie with a one, win with a two. And wh whoever, whoever loses this game, they're certainly going to feel like they let one get away. And right now, it looks like that's going to be Switzerland. Yes. But we don't know. This game could be tied before we know it. Wait a second. Oh, that's out a of smart challenge. Yeah. Out of, it ruled out of bounds on France. Out of bounds challenge. So... Yeah, we'd like to remind you again. So, so on the one hand, this challenge is so smart by Villare, right? You're not going to use your challenge at any other time in the game, probably. You could get this ball. That could mean ball game. Because then you don't have a shot clock anymore, and you can just out-dribble the clock. Let's see if this is 100% clear. Yeah, that's that's. it's going to be, it's going to have to be 100% clear. To be overturned, it's got to be 100% clear. I like the that if we have a close-up angle, let's see. <laughs> Both buys and I are leaning as close as we can to the monitor. So official Donald Quinn, he's gonna take a look and right there, Boz, who it, touches it's that last? It's so hard to say. It oh might be off France, it goodness. might also be off of Lemon. I think this is going to be deemed unclear. Yes, me too. And that means it's going to be the ball for Switzerland, Switzerland ball. though. That's what I think. But let, we, we got to we got to look at this. Look at this. Same angle, but that that angle well, is a little deceptive. It looks Whoa. like it might be off on Lemon there. No, I see off Vierade. See, you see both hands no. are still on. Oh, oh, oh. Unclear. Yeah, though. it's unclear. It's I just it. looked at the side and saw something interesting, though. Gilles Martin fell on his hand early, remember? Yes. When he dove into the sta into the boarding here. Uh-huh. He was on the court to start this possession and then walked over to the bench, went over to Lemon and said, well, pointed at his hand and kind of shook his head, sat down. So I don't think he's going to be a part of this final possession. Oh, man, I hate I hate that. Because Gilles Martin is so important to... So, yep, footage is unclear. One final shot for the Swiss at this game. Oh, man, I'm on the edge of my seat. France leading by one. Seven seconds to go. Dubas. He loses the rock. They wanted to get him the ball down low in a post-up, and he just loses the ball. Oh, man. That, that's that's rough. This should be one that's going to keep him awake at night. Oh, certainly. And Lemon has to foul quickly with five seconds left. Now it will take uh, it'll take a miracle for Switzerland. And first and foremost, they got to hope that Frank Segela misses at least one free throw. If he makes them both. It is highly unlikely that they'll have a chance to do anything. Segala, the game is on you for Le Bleu. 19-16, West for the knee. What a shot, but it will be not enough. France survived against Switzerland. 1918, they get the USA next. What a finish. What an what a odd game, to be honest. But France advance.